So a little bit of partner work. So do you do a lot of this? Do it. Sometimes we do it with fins on. Other times we do it with our fins. Obviously with fins it's a bit easier. But I, I sort of like resistive work not being so resistive that their technique folders. I think with the fins on it gives them the push, it gives them the speed, but obviously the dead way on the end gives them the resistance. Mm -hmm. So you've got those two, two forces opposing against one another. Like that. And what I like them doing when we tie them is for them to be down to their best 25 metre times with the weight on the end. So whatever their best is without gear on, that's yep. what they're targeting when they do the 25. First screw, ready, you and how much? Pace. How much are you doing this type of stuff? Just 850 is normal. Yep. So I'll do to the person that's in the front swimming does two. That's their second one. Then they'll switch the harness over. The other person will do two. And when you do that once a week? Will you oh, do we that? do it once a week usually, yeah. Normally do this on a Tuesday or a Thursday morning. I think, you know, you've got to throw variety in at the kids. I, I think you've got to keep them interested and keep them switched on a little bit. I think, you know, keep them stimulated, you keep them hungry, you keep them keen, if you keep doing the same old, same old. And yeah, you still want them working, but you can make them enjoy a little bit and have a little bit of fun, I think it helps a lot. Okay, so the other person takes the lead, just 50 or 60% till you get warmed up. Alright, here we go, second group, five seconds, ready, you, person on the end, streamline. Green line resistance. It's all about, you know, core connection. I think they feel that core connection. You know, when the limb's out in front, there's a load on the end. You, you know, you feel that connection from the limb through the body. Mm -hmm. That's just another way of doing it. What other type of resistance stuff do you do? We do band, band and panels. Mm -hmm. We might do 25s of that. So band and panels, 25 hard, 25 easy. We do stationary harness where they put the harness against the block, tied up with the block, and they'll work, you know, the flyers will work, say, 16 strokes, the freestyles and backstrokes will work 30 strokes. Just so they're feeling the load, it's not effort, it's just control. We'll do other ones where we go from the start and we'll do efforts. We'll mm -hmm. go out to, to you know, trying to get to 20 metres with the resistance on you. So we vary around as much as we can. I think what you've got to watch is when you've got resistance. First group, ready, go. Is it you don't? teach them things you don't want them doing when they swim, like dropping elbows, leaning with elbows, all those sorts of things. That's why I think doing this stuff with fins on is good because it, it just gives Keeps them that, that together. Yeah. I sort of call it, you know, you want them leaning against the water when they're swimming. You want them just feeling that grip. So I think anything like this helps them do that. And that goes back to your talking about that with the downhill stuff with the pop-off drill, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Is that one of your favorite drills to implement in there, the pop-off drill? Yeah, we did the pop-off on this one. The, the pop-off one we do is speed pop-off, where we do yeah. the butterfly kick, head up, same as the polo drill. Polo drill is with freestyle kick, and the pop-off is with butterfly kick. So with the butterfly kick, is the hand end is the one that can only take one butterfly kick. So if they're not hooking onto their strokes straight away, they'll sink. Yeah. They won't keep height in the water. So uh, the speed pop-off drill is done fast. Apollo drill, which is head up freestyle, we normally do just slow.